My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, to the members of the Executive Committee of the Festa Fatima 2023, headed by our Director General, Dr. Telesforo Ragpa, to the members of the Family Council from both departments, to Ma'am Amy Valdez, our Family Council President of the Great School Department, and also Sir Joey Remulas of the High School Department, and to all parents who are here, to all our teachers and staff, and our dear Fatimanian students, good morning. Peace and goodwill. Today is a Marian day for we celebrate the opening mass of our three-day celebration of our Festa Fatima. What a beautiful celebration indeed, for we are Marians by name and by heart. Once a Marian will always be a Marian. Amen? And you should always live. We have a very beautiful gospel reading today that would speak about the very important commandment that our Lord Jesus Christ has given us. And this is no other than love one another as God loved us. And our theme on this Fest of Fatima 2023 is Our Lady of Fatima, Mother of Faithful and Fruitful Stewardship. We are always being reminded that Our Lady, Our Mother, the Blessed Mother, is the very first disciples. Hindi po pala yung 12 disciples. He was, she was the first disciples because she was the first to witness everything in the life of Jesus. She was the first to witness the resurrection of our Lord. And she was the first to witness the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that we are being inspired by her, by her very life and her examples and virtues. And her title, Our Lady of Fatima, would also remind us of her role in our Christian faith and Christian life. Sometimes we may ask the question for those who are not believing, why do we need to ask Mary? While we can also ask directly to Jesus, but we know that there is a wisdom and the great mystery that we cannot fathom or understand fully of this. But we know our faith tell, uh, tells us that our deep devotion would speak of our relationship with the Blessed Mother. Alam po natin there is a kind of personal touch when we pray to Mama Mary. My dear students and every one of us who are here, we know how important the role of a mother is. We know how we are close to our mothers. We know that our mothers are actually the great mediator in our family. If you cannot ask something from your father, if you cannot ask something from your parents, okay? sometimes we ask them through the intercession of our mother or, or grandmothers. And we know how close we are to them. Because when we go home, the first person that whom we are going to look for and ask is our mother. At times when we get sick, 
the first name that comes from our mouth is the name of our mother. And many more. This would only speak of our relationship, very close, intimate, and personal relationship with our mother. That is why even in the realm of spirituality, we need of this. It would always ground us that our relationship to our Blessed Mother would speak of our human experience, elevated and transcended to our higher realm. And this is our motherly, spiritual, motherly relationship with our Blessed Mother. And our theme today, which is our Lady of Fatima, Mother of Faithful and Fruitful Stewardship, would remind us to go back again that our, our Lady, our Mother, is the model of stewardship because she was the very first witness of the very life of Jesus. What is stewardship? Stewardship is reminding us that everything comes from God and we don't own anything because we are only but caretakers of the gifts that God has given to us. For the past few years, we have been hearing about the stewardship but this stewardship is nothing but the very life of a Christian. Binabalik po tayo sa katotohanan na ang tao ay babalik kung saan siya nang galing. At ang tao ay namumuhay dahil sa dakilang habag at pagmamahal ng Diyos sa kanya. Tayo'y nabubuhay sa dakilang awa ng Diyos. That is why let us always remember that we are just but stewards of God's great and wondrous blessings. And dear, we are not only simply stewards, but we should be faithful and fruitful stewards. And our Lord Jesus Christ in our gospel reading today saying to us that we can only be fruitful when we remain with Him and remain in Him. And most especially, we remain in His love. We know that the very love of God is the very reason of all things. The very love of God will make our life more meaningful. And the very love of God will make our life fruitful. Because the very meaning of all is the very love of God to us. Ito po ang dahilan ng lahat. Ang ating dakilang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Binabalik lang natin dahil una ang Diyos ang nagmahal sa atin. Kasi kadalasan, parang sinasabi po natin na may karapatan tayong magsabi, tayo yung unang umibig. Kaya nga sinusukat natin ang ginagawa natin. Para bang naghihintay tayo. No, parang bang we demand. But come to think of it, that the very love of God comes from the truth that God has loved us first. That is why let us also love Him in return. We know that everything becomes wonderful. Everything becomes meaningful. Everything becomes great because of the very love of God to us. On this first day of our celebrations of the Festa Fatima, 
may we feel the love of a mother, which is the love of a mother, our blessed mother, our lady of Fatima, surpasses everything, goes beyond, and that we see her faithfulness leading to a very meaningful and fruitful life. We may ask the question, how became Mary's life fruitful because of her faithfulness to God and especially her faithfulness in prayer? Alam po natin na magiging mabunga lang ang ating buhay kapag nakaugat tayo sa Diyos sa kanyang pagmamahal. Magiging mabunga lamang ang ating buhay pag nakaugat ang ating buhay sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. May all the things that we do, motivated, impelled by the very love of Christ to us, and may all the things that we do would speak of, reflect of, of our great love. Of our blessed mother. Let us heed the command of our Lord when he said, This is my commandment love one another. Amen.